I wanted to make a quick video um, for the um, diesel power students who will be missing class for a tour just to make sure that you understand the assignments that you need to do um, while you will be gone. So the Access Subscribers Report, it says due in class. We're going to go through this um, part of it um, together in class and then the other part they're going to do in class. So when you click on this assignment link, uh, you will see that there are four different files here. In class, we are going to work on the Hilltop Reports database and then there's the instruction sheet called Access Reports that goes along with that. And then on while we're still in class, they're going to be working through the packet called Access Reports PDF using the C3 subscribers database. So the first thing that you would want to do is save these files to your computer so that you have them to be able to work with. And once you do that, um, I'm just going to go ahead and pull up for us the Hilltop Reports database, um, enable the content, and then you're going to see that you have five different tables and a query that's been created. Um, remember first step, you need to double click on each table, take a look and see what data is in each one of those tables so that as you're being asked to do things, you know where to find the data. So now that I've taken a look at all of those areas, um, I am going to just go ahead and close my tables and then I'm going to pull up the instruction sheet which is a word file and it is called access reports it says create reports using the report wizard and then we're going to create some mailing labels so you're going to notice that it says that we're going to be using fields from two different tables so we have the equipment table that we're going to use the equipment field and then we have the inventory table where we have purchase date, purchase price, and available hours. And then it says do not make any changes to the second report wizard, do not make any changes to the third report wizard dialog box, at the fourth report wizard dialog box choose columnar and at the fifth and last report wizard dialog box click finish which will accept the default report and name it equipment and then we're simply going to close that report so um, you know you might find it easier to work with this on a split screen as you're working with your reports um, I'm just going to go ahead and close that report um, window so I'm just going to go ahead and close minimize my directions for now so I'm back in the Hilltop database anything we do we click create and we are going to create a report using the wizard so the first thing that I want to do is um, click on under the reports grouping I want to choose report wizard so click on report wizard and a wizard, remember, is a series of steps. So from the equipment table, I have to click the drop down and I have to choose equipment. And then it says I need to add the field of equipment. So not equipment number, but equipment. So highlight it and send it over. Then it says from the inventory table. So you click the drop down, you go to the inventory table, and then you choose purchase date and send it over purchase price and send it over and available hours and send it over. Um, if you make a mistake and you have a field that you shouldn't have just click the arrow and it will send it back to the proper table. Then it says do not make any changes to the second report wizard dialog box. Well to get to the second one I have to click next. So this is the second dialog box. I don't do anything to that. I click next. It says do not make any changes to the third, so I'm going to click next. At the fourth, choose columnar, click next, 
and at the fifth simply click finish and it's going to save it with the default name of equipment and then this report shows up here so this is what your report should look like so again because we have relationships established we can pull fields from multiple tables to generate a report I will close this one and then the next one says mailing labels so if I pull up my instruction sheet it says with Hilltop open we're going to go to the customers table in the navigation pane and just highlight it and then we're going to use the labels wizard to create the labels it says you determine the label type but it has to have the customer name and addresses and it has to sort them by customer names and then we'll name the label report customer mailing labels so I'll minimize that and I'm going to do just what it says I'm going to highlight or click just once on customers on the table in the tables group and then I'm going to go under create and under my reports it's called labels so I click on labels and then it says you pick the label you want I'm just going to leave the default I'm going to click next um, I'm not going to worry about changing fonts I'm just going to leave the defaults and then I get to my prototype label so remember that a mailing address has to be name on first line address on second line and city state zip on third line just like we used in word so I'm going to click on customer and send it over then I have to press enter to go to the next line I'll send street address over and press enter and then remember the format city space state space zip code so I have that the way I need it if I did something wrong all you have to do if you sent the wrong field over you click on it and press delete and then you can go pick the field that you need and send it over so once I have my mailing label set up I click next and then it says I must sort by customer names so I'm going to click on customer and send it over to the sort by group I will click next and it says name the report customer mailing labels and then I click finish so there are my labels now they're sorted by name alphabetically if I click on the X and close that and then I come back to customer mailing labels and I open it you'll instantaneously say wait this is not how I viewed them before and that would be correct because under view you have to go and change it to print preview which is the view that we were seeing before so that's how your labels would print so that is just the basics of how to use a report wizard and to set up labels go ahead and close my database and then um, the next assignment that you're going to be working on has you going through the packet